Thanks for stopping on our channel, which is dedicated to central heating. And as you can see, I've been doing this a long time. Whether you install or you have heating, hopefully my videos will make a difference, but please leave me a comment in the section below. Lights, action, camera, let's begin. Today's job is going to be two parts. Firstly, we're going to remove the panels along the sides and the top to see how much fluff, rubbish, bugs are all hiding and living between the two convector panels. This is a job that very rarely is done, so I would suggest everybody has to go, especially now in the summertime. The second job is going to be an upgrade. We're going to change this TRV here because it's been over 12 years, so it's done its job, and we're going to upgrade to the latest balancing TRV from Danfoss. Here's a closer cutaway of the box, and that's going to go on the return side because that's the most efficient side of the radiator. So let's proceed to the next clip. So what I need on this particular job is that piece of duct tape and just a sharp knife. And I'll just put this underneath here because I can't be damaging the customer's side panel. So we just gently slide it underneath and then ping it off. And there we are. And I can repeat the process on the other side. This next stage is going to be very awkward because this side panel has not been taken off for over 12 years and it's going to be stuck. So I would suggest you get a, a screwdriver fairly on the large side and just gently put it inside here and then just see if you can just twist it, twist it and twist it and see if you can get it upwards a little bit. And then hopefully if we take the top off, there we are, and it's come away. And we're going to repeat the process on the other side. Now you can see that the two panels have been removed. They're just here on the window ledge and just leaves us to, now to see inside the amount of dirt. So we just carefully lift this up and lay it on top. And I'll take that outside to give it a good coating. And here's the damage. Look at this. This is terrible. This has been going round and round. All this fluff. All is absolutely disgusting, this is, but often overlook. So if you've had a single convector or double convector radiator, I would suggest you do this because it's um, going to help the, the air quality in that room and everywhere else. And this is often overlooked. Look at that. That's terrible. That's absolutely terrible. So to do this job, as I said, we're going to need a long brush. So I've got that one there. And with a hook for my screwdriver and we're going to need a vacuum cleaner uh, which sucks and blows so we only want the sucking bit because we don't want two ton of dust and then I've put this tissue paper underneath the radiator to catch any other debris that we can see down there and then we can just throw that away so let's start on the vacuum cleaning side of it and um, proceed And then we're just going to carry on right to the end and make sure that all of the panels, the convectors inside are lovely and clean and then I can reassemble. And that's all. So here we are. We've cleaned every single joint, all the different convectors from top to bottom. You can see there's nothing at all, not an iota of dust anywhere along the top. And I've also done the sides and underneath around the radiators and then underneath to make sure everything is absolutely spotless the side panels I've done and the top panel I've done in the garden and now we can reassemble and hand the radiator back to the customer another 20 to go thanks for watching and I hope you um, found this useful because as I said earlier 
This is very often forgotten and you could be amazed how much dust can be in there and remote controls, money, cuddly toys, etc. you might find inside. But anyway, take care. Thanks for watching the video and if you'd like to comment there's a section below and subscribe to our channels for regular updates on our next projects. Take care.